Okay, so here we are. This is actually the customs building. Um, a second. Yeah, the customs building for uh, entry to Chile. A w beautiful wooden roof on it. Very nice. Uh, we've been here for mm, about three hours waiting for uh, everything to get cleared and waiting for the van to get cleared. But now we're, uh, we're good to go. We've got the money. Dom's just changing some cash. And we're going to head down this ramp and work out. We're actually officially in Chile now. I have the documents, got the passport signed, got the temporary import permit. Now oh, everything's good. We had to wait for the van to clear. And that there mountain up ahead, I think, is Aconcagua, which is the highest mountain in South America. And we're just going to pull over here just to let the sun have sort itself out and then we'll be on our way and more in a little while switch the camera back on again as soon as the satellite's found itself so we're just leaving the border post now and look at this for a view so here we are snow covered mountains and we're in Chile Imagine being stationed up at a remote border post like this. Uh, I'm surprisingly in good humour, the uh, customs officials that we've just been dealing with. It just took a long time because there was quite a lot of cars um, and they were very keen on inspecting absolutely everything. The, almost the entire contents of the van had to be taken out and, and inspected. Uh, but all done now. And now we're heading down the mountain and I will uh, massive views of these huge mountains outside us I've been in Chile a while but there's a welcome to Chile sign Robin, Nicky and Norman in front of us now. The rest of the group's all gone. Well, there we go. I'll uh, put the camera on in a little while when we reach the switchbacks. Okay, so here we are negotiating some of these switchbacks that drop down off the mountain. Um, I've done the first few already, but look down there. If you could see it, that's the road with the green truck on. And um, uh, we've got these... Uh, it just winds down. Look at the <laughs> if you can see the GPS from the camera, I'm gonna keep an eye on where I'm going, but if you can see the GPS from the camera, you'll see it's basically just a series of uh, horizontal lines connected by one hundred and eighty degree corners um, as we just descend down. Um, and they're just unfortunately the surface is pretty poor. It's uh, concrete slabs that have been broken up and have got big cracks at the edges so you take it really steady but look at that there you go look at that it's just completely nuts the road effectively is doubling back on itself and round the corner and then straight again and then round another corner and we've already gone from about 11 degrees centigrade to 19 degrees centigrade. So the temperature's warming up quite quickly. I'm trying to avoid that massive crack that's just there. There's the road going all the way down there. I always love it when I get into a new country feels like we're making progress with uh, the journey when you cross and from now on we're only going to be crossing between Chile and Argentina on the trip uh, 
So we've done all the other countries. We've entered each country that we're going to be going into. Now we're in Chile. As you can tell, it's rather bumpy. Lots of cracked and broken bits, because obviously up here, I mean, we're in the summer, up here it'll be uh, pretty miserable in the winter, and so we'll get snowed in, the border will get closed. But today is a beautiful day, I mean really, so lucky with the weather. Um, these mountains really stand out against the blue sky. It's been a lovely day so far. And I've still got about 90 miles to go before I get to Santiago. Anyway, I guess that's enough for you. Well, it's just going to get as dizzy as I am. Okay, so we've left the border now. And we are now approaching Santiago. We are six miles from the hotel. And as you can see, it's uh, like an old, uh, motorway as we're heading into the city. And um, the traffic's not too bad, fairly well behaved. It's been a fairly quick run from the border to here. And now we have the, uh, the challenge. As always when coming into a city of uh, navigating, but also getting used to the way that the traffic flows in a different country. It's always slightly different, as you can see. Uh, the traffic's a little bit more private cars and pickups. To change lanes on me. So far, and uh, we'll see how we get on. I'm going to switch the camera off because it's not the most interesting of uh, scenery at the moment.